the key to being able to grow a following, the key to be able to target a demographic is knowing where they are. And the reality of this crisis that we're in, this chaos that has just swept across the world, is that we know where people are. They're at home. I did not have an agenda from day one. All I wanted to do was um, document the process of what it looks like to be successful. I had gone from being flat broke, in debt, depressed, had gone through a failed marriage, failed business, in over two years went to making over 450,000 a year. Uh, the first 12 months went from zero to over 300,000. And I just wanted to document that process and what it looked like going from that to that. Um, and show people as I continue to level up how they can level up with me, uh, but at the very least show them the process all along the way. And so I never had any preference on what type of um, content got the most attention. Um, I just put out content on a consistent basis in hopes that something would touch someone. I focus on brand on the personal branding um, myself, and I think there needs to be a personal brand attached to the business. You need some something or someone to personify um, your business because, especially as the market starts to get a little crazy here, which it will, and um, it's going to be bad. <laughs> but when the market does go. Um, go down. People will continue to do business with people that they know, trust, and like. And for them to know, trust, and like a brand, they have to know the person behind it. When they need products and services, they're going to go back to those ones that they do feel like they have actual relationships with. Right. Uh, and when the market is not good, <clears throat> when the economy is not good, and people are a little bit more uh, thoughtful in where they're spending their money, that money's always going to go back to the people that have built that relationship, That's or right. at least proven to them that they care. And you know, it, you have to find your lane that you enjoy. Like I enjoy all, all aspects of, of social media and that's what enables me to stick with it is because I enjoy it. Some may not enjoy certain aspects. Everybody's got something. Um, you know, everybody has a story which people can learn a lot from other people's stories. So that's in and of itself enough, but then there's something specific that you're good at and you know, it may, not be directly it may not directly correlate to your business but there's something interesting about people like that's my favorite objection to social media when when people are you know really using the excuse of well you know I, what i do is just not that interesting i'm like that's fantastic because i sell life insurance and there's nothing less interesting than that but did I, do i want to build a personal brand and put out content that labels me as the you know king of insurance no not necessarily not at all um, I've kind of gone back and forth on, on that with people um, in regards to the way that I put myself out there because of the fact that I, I've sold over 8,000 life insurance policies one-on-one -on -one, face to face in three and a half years that's never been done before ever if you can find someone else that can even come anywhere close to that please message me and give me their info because I want to talk to them uh, but it hasn't happened and I don't use that probably as much as I could um, to you know, target just the insurance industry. Um, but it's because I'm using my personal brand and what I want to put out to reach everybody. I want it to be on the basic pillars of hard work and success. If you become passionate about what you are doing, you can find things about it that are interesting and it doesn't have to be so specific to your industry. It's key pillars that are universal to any industry. So that's, I mean, that's really what it's all about is, is figuring out your, you know, your distinct uh, angle and figuring out the people that you like to follow. You know, what are they doing? Just copy them. All I did was copy Gary V's blueprint and did it in my own way. There were people in the beginning that would call me like the PG version Gary V or like the uh, meathead Gary V and like all these like bearded Gary V. Like I used to get that, that kind of stuff all the time. Just because I was talking about a lot of the same stuff because the same stuff that's true to his life is true to my life. It's not looking to go wide. It's looking to go deeper. And, you know, I think so many people that are out there, especially in those beginning stages of building a brand, but even years into it, you get so focused on all these analytics and all the data and okay we put this out at this time and it got this reach and this engagement we put this out and they're comparing and contrasting and you can drive yourself absolutely crazy. I just don't look at any of it anymore.
I really don't look at any of it anymore. So I think for the person out there that's got a hundred followers that wants to have a hundred thousand, well, what are you doing for the hundred? And in doing that and in going deeper with the hundred, like that's the way it'll grow. And more importantly, that's the way it'll grow the right way. Right. And so I think for me, hopefully this will be a shift uh, across the, across the board, but I am far less concerned. I think there's a shift from wanting to be an influencer to wanting to be influential. <laughs> and it is a radical shift, not to plug you there, <laughs> but it is a radical shift because there's a lot of people out there that want to be an influencer but aren't influential and i could name a ton and we all know them when we see them it's like they're putting out a lot of stuff and they're showing a lot of cool things but you know what's the intent behind it are they really making an impact and one thing that you know not to drop tom shay's name again but i was having i had an amazing conversation with him yesterday and he really has this kind of like five point plan in the very last part which would be you know the least important is the why you're doing it and it starts with b which is who am i so it goes from who am i to what do i need to the team which is who do i associate with then the action plan then the why it's my belief that the vast majority of influencers live in the action plan and why action plan and why you know whether it's simon sinek that started this or not everyone felt follows suit and it's all about well why are you doing the things that you're doing start with your why you got to know why you're doing it and then let's put an action plan for the why but if you don't know who you are <laughs> there's nothing else yeah because what i know is being something on social media that you are not is exhausting and there's no exit strategy like you can't fake it forever so deciding that right now you're going to become a you know health expert because there's so much crisis and so much desire and need for knowledge around how to handle this crisis that we're in with COVID-19, deciding that all of a sudden you're a health expert is not the right way to go. And quite frankly, we're seeing a lot of people doing that. They're having podcasts and discussions and putting out content and it's all health related, but they're not a health expert. So who are you? What do you do? Start talking about those things because however crazy, weird, unique, however strange it might be or interesting it may be and however little you think that there may be a market for it, they're out there. And specifically right now, they're out there searching for you. The big thing is do something uh, because if you're not, this is not, Social media is not going anywhere. Uh, it's only going to get more and more and more uh, prevalent and more and more devastating to those that aren't. And so that's just a reality that everyone you know has to face that's sitting back saying, oh, I just don't want to get into all that. Well, all that is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's going to be a huge detriment to those that don't. And it's going to be a huge, huge catalyst for those uh, that do. And, you know, I take that extremely seriously.